Navigation intimidates many people. The skills and equipment used to navigate a boat safely often seem too complicated and too scientific, but that's not the case. Safely finding your way in a boat takes nothing more than some common sense and simple tools. I'm John Rumanier. I've done a lot of boating in many different areas, and like you, when I'm out on the water, I'm concerned about my boat's position and her heading. That's what navigation's all about. If you can answer these two questions, where are we and where are we headed, you're a navigator. In this video, we'll look at the basics of modern navigation. Some of the time we'll be on the water, and at other times we'll be using sophisticated simulators in a navigation school at the Siemens Church Institute. We'll begin with the basic tools of coastal navigation, with the chart, with the magnetic compass, and with dead reckoning. Then we'll move on to today's electronic devices, radio direction finders, satellite navigation, and finally, radar, which more and more skippers are using. Then we'll talk about navigating in difficult conditions, at night, in fog, and in storms. The equipment that we're using doesn't imply an endorsement. You'll find this gear on boats everywhere. Now, the kind of navigation we're talking about in this tape is the kind of navigation that most people do, which is near shore. It's called coastal navigation, or piloting. While many of these skills will help you sail across the ocean, most people use them to get in and out of harbors and across bays, rivers, and lakes without getting lost and without running aground. Before we get underway, I'd like to stress three points about navigation. First, never rely completely on any one single skill or device. Always have a backup. For example, it only takes a couple of seconds to back up a Loran fix or a radar position with a glance at a buoy or a depth sounder reading. Second, don't be too optimistic. Use a worst case state of mind. For example, don't regard a fix as an exact small point of position rather regard it as an area of position, the area of your most probable position. And third, be systematic. Write everything down, either on the chart or in a logbook. That way, if you get lost, you can backtrack and find your mistake. With these guidelines, good equipment, and some common sense, you should be able to navigate safely. Before heading out, check that you have all the charts you need, as well as all required safety equipment, including life jackets, fire extinguishers, flares, and navigation lights. Life jackets should be worn by anybody who's not a good swimmer, and by everybody whenever there's a risk of going in the water. No matter how you navigate, with a compass or with a high-tech electronic instrument, you'll need a chart. A chart offers a miniaturized version of the world around you. It helps you make sense of the water and the land. This map for navigators works very much like a road map. It uses colors and symbols to tell you what it is you're seeing around you. White indicates safe, navigable water. Light blue indicates shoal water. Green indicates grass that's sometimes covered by water. Brown is land. Rocks are shown whether or not they're out of the water. And buoys are shown going up into the channel. The colors have been carefully chosen so they're visible under the red lights used in navigation stations so navigators don't lose their night vision. <laughs> 